Hi again all, welcome to the next in the series, Understanding and Using Excel. This time we're going to look at an interesting function called Intersect. You may possibly have used the index and match functions prior to find the intersection of columns and rows and have Excel place the uh, result of the uh, contents of the intersection in a particular cell but index and match can get uh, a little bit messy uh, I find this one rather easier to use so I'll show you how to do it. Here I have some uh, data in cells um, I've got uh, Tom, Mary and Sue uh, as the names and uh, just a couple of um, a column, head, uh, column headings, age and phone. I've kept the information minimal so that it's the concept that counts but you can have as many uh, uh, row and label um, um, information as you wish. Now the first step is to select the range. In this case it will be A5 to C8 so what I do, I'm going to drag down A5 to C8 and then I'm going to, in the Formulas tab, click on Create from Selection and it says Create Names from Values in the top row and left column. Yes, that looks pretty good to me, so I'll click OK. Now what I want to do is to go uh, over to here and I'm going to click in cell H5 and I'm going to create a list in cell H5 that I can choose the names from. This simply makes the the use of finding the results user friendly. So column H will contain drop down arrows in H5 and H6 which will access the lists created from labels in A6 to A8 and B5 to C5 which makes the search much more user friendly. I'll demonstrate how to create the list if you're not quite certain but uh, on the channel, uh, on, on this channel uh, there is an instruction video on how to create a list anyway so you can look at that as well but I'll show you how again. So in here I want to be able to choose from Tom, Mary and Sue so I'll go into the data tab then go to data validation and I want to allow here a list and Excel says where is the list? The list in the source is here Tom, Mary and Sue. So now I'll click OK. Now I can click the drop arrow and choose from them. I also want to create another list here for age and phone. So data, data validation I want to allow a list, the source will be B5 to C5 and I'll click OK. Now what I'd like to do is to see the results of um, uh, whatever I choose from these lists. So if I wanted to see Tom's age I could do it that way and then I want to see the result we'll say in this cell here. So what I'm going to do in this cell I'm going to type a function indirect and I type equal indirect and open a bracket and I want to have indirect look at what cell um, Tom is in and bring it into the function. That's what the indirect function does. So I want it to look in what is in H5, the name in H5, and close the bracket. Space, the space is important in an indirect, when I'm using indirect, and I type another indirect function, and this time I want it to look in what is in H6, and I close the bracket and press enter. And there I see that Tom's age is 23. What if I wanted to find Mary's phone number? Mary phone number 456 and there it is. Incidentally 
uh, I've uh, conditionally formatted that uh, particular cell to uh, fill the cell with red if H6 contains the word phone. Uh, just a little bit of uh, showing off there, I guess, folks. Uh, but you can do it, and I'll I'll have um, a uh, demonstration on using conditional formatting uh, shortly. Okay, look, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found um, that the indirect function will be of use to you. I find it very, very useful, particularly in larger spreadsheets where I have uh, lots of um, uh, labels down, uh, down a uh, column and uh, uh, lots of uh, headings across in rows. Don't forget to subscribe and um, uh, thank you again for watching.